Situated right at the edge of the Llano Estacado, where the Texas high plains crumble away into magnificent canyons, mesas, and gorges, all ready to be explored. This is so cool. And what's crazy is that right on the other side of those cliffs, flat as a pancake for miles and miles and miles into New Mexico. This park covers about 22 square miles of some of the most stunning land in the state. Its rugged walls and deep ravines tell a story that goes back eons as oceans, rivers, and winds cut these cliffs into the cap rock. Don't you ever dare say Texas is flat. Never. Look at the color. I'm seeing like 10 shades of green and another 10 shades of red. Not to mention the big, bright blue Texas sky. This park is famous for hiking with over 28 miles of trails, but there's also a lake for fishing and swimming and even some friendly local fur balls. We just come into a uh, prairie dog colony. Hey, little buddy. Oh, he's wagging his tail like everywhere. These guys are fat. They eat well out here in the Cap Rock. But then what you find around every corner are breathtaking views. Ooh, wow. This was amazing. I know it gets said a lot, but never in my life have I seen a picture of Cap Rock Canyon that did it any justice. Wow. I mean, it is so much more just vast, huge, and grand than it looks on pictures. This is beautiful. I mean, don't you feel like you're like, living right in the middle of a John Wayne movie? Because it feels like that to me. And what better way to explore the Cap Rock than like John Wayne himself on horseback? Now presenting The Day Tripper Rides Again in Full Tripper Scope, starring Jet Garner on his trusty steed, Mr. T, and riding beside him, Tomas as Tomas and his horse, Coyote. Together, they ride. Uh, vamonos! Vamonos! <laughs> Very slowly. Whew, now this is the way to see this state park, huh? You bet. By horseback. Yeah, horseback, that's the way I like it. Tomas has been guiding trips out here for over 20 years and knows these trails like the back of his hand because he's seen them all from the back of his horse. How much of it you think you've seen? You've been down every trail? Oh yeah, just about everything. Just about. There's some places that are real rough. You can't get to it. And of course I don't go there. Sure. But uh, yeah, I've been pretty well everywhere. Now that is a beautiful sight right there. Do you ever get used to it? You know what, I, I come down here pretty regular and I like it. <laughs> I, I'm never bored, I mean, I love it. I yeah. love this country. In our view, I, I see no sign of man at all, other than you. But there's no trails, there's no houses, there's no... And they used to be Indians, you know, that's this year's Indian country. Right. Yeah, Indian country. This area was once known as Comancheria, the heart of the Comanche Indian Empire. And out here, you can almost see and feel the Comanches riding through these canyons. Tomas hosts riders from all over the world because views and rides like this one aren't easy to come by no matter what continent you're on. Oh, I already see every, everything from here. 360 degrees of God's green earth. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. You know, this sort of makes me feel like a Comanche myself, perched high on a cliff, scouting the land. I didn't much expect to see any water up here in the Cap Rock. Whoa, look at these. These are tr tracks down here. Yeah, the deer, deer track, wild hog tracks. There's all kinds of track here. What do you think that is right here? That's got, yeah, the, that, that's yeah, got that's claws ki on it. That's a coyote up there. Coyote, cool. We're, we're using all of our uh, Comanche skills here. Yeah, you betcha. This park is full of wildlife, and it's time to say adios to Tomas and his horses to visit the park's most important animal population, the official Texas State Bison Herd. Numbering around 130 bison, the state herd is normally roaming the park right next to the public. You can see them on the trails. I mean, so think about hiking the trail away <laughs> and are out on the trails, and next thing you know, you got 20 bison on the trail with you. you know? See the cap rock in the background and the right. bison just grazing like they've been doing for thousands of years, yep. you know? This is Park Superintendent Donald Beard, who oversees this herd like they're his own furry family. And that's the whole point of what we're doing here, yeah. okay? This is not an exhibit. This actually is their historic homeland. 
So this is where they belong. And this is now where you can see, the people of Texas can come see these animals in, in their wild state. And while the bison are usually out and about, today is a special day, as they've been herded up and corralled into these pens for their annual checkup. And we're getting a little behind the scenes. All right, so what we do is we bring them in from over here. Okay, yep. They'll, they'll come down these set of pins around this tub right here and right down through here. Whew, man, they're going fast. I see you got look, there's a, a vet down here, more park right. staff. What, what all are they doing? Well, we do a general health check. So we okay. check everybody, make sure that they're healthy. Everybody gets a set of vaccinations. And, okay. And all of the new calves, we, we take hair samples, we take blood samples, and they all get tags. Now that may seem like a lot of care for a few burly beasts, but these are the last true specimens of the Southern Plains bison that used to number around 60 million across Texas in the Southern Plains, but were driven to near extinction. So preserving these bison isn't just a hobby, it's truly preserving our history. And one of the things we do when we work these is we, we check see if they're pregnant or not. And we got lots of cows and the vet kind of gets tired every now and then, so you up for it? <laughs> I'm not sure I understand what you're asking me to do, but I, I'm up for anything. Now we'll make sure it's a cow, not a bull though. Okay, okay? <laughs> thanks, I appreciate that. Oh boy, what have I gotten myself into? When they give you the uh, full arm glove, you know you're in for some serious business. Oh my gosh, how high does that need to go? Am I gonna get totally lost in there? Probably, the, the van will tell you for sure. Okay. Bring in the subject, snap. <laughs> I'm still a bit confused. Maybe the vet can shed some light on what I'm doing. But you need to find out if she's pregnant. <laughs> and there's only one way to do that, right? And you're gonna go in rectally and fill the baby. Wait, I thought I, I'm going you're in the going wrong in the one. Top one. Oh, okay. Fill down. <laughs> okay. Is this gonna be obvious? Because I have no idea. Maybe. <laughs> here goes nothing. Right here. Okay. Oh. Ah. Okay. Uh, I'm doing my duty to the great state of Texas here. Okay. Hey, pretty mama, what you oh! Do? <laughs> well, we definitely have some bison in here. Um. <laughs> okay, easy girl. This is not comfortable for me either, I promise. I think I'm feeling some bones. If I'm feeling some kind of bone. There's only one thing that's as hard as bone in there. And well, that's, that's a pelvis. And then you have a 50-50 shot. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> you, you verify me. I felt, I felt something in there. Let me see if I was good at first try. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> so she's, she's pregnant. Oh, excellent. I would shake your hand and say thank you, but. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. You got something on your, on your. Oh on your yeah. Eye. No, 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 thanks. <laughs> well, it's the state of Texas. Don't say I don't love you. <laughs> Whew, the things I do on this show. <laughs> well, no matter how many times I go tripping, there are always firsts here on The Day Tripper. To see the full episode or to get info about how to visit this spot, trip on over to thedaytripper.com or here's some other videos you may like. Via con Dios, amigos.